What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. So due to recent events, I have a unique opportunity to review a platform that I typically wouldn't have. Uh, a huge shout out to a, uh, well, he's a, he's a family member that lent me his truck for this trip, made my vacation happy. And uh, also we're gonna say he's the reason this video is happening. So basically we have a 100% stock uh, I think it's a 2014 LML Duramax. So, very different platform in the sense of it's common rail. It still is a V8, but it's also from Chevy. Uh, both in Chevy and GMCs, obviously. And that it's 10 years newer than what I normally tow with. And my truck's completely modified. Very few things left unchanged. And this is completely as it comes from factory. So we're just gonna talk a little bit about it. And uh, first we're gonna talk about some features of the newer trucks that aren't necessarily in the older trucks. And then we're gonna kind of compare how it tows compared to my modified 6.0 power strip. So from a performance standpoint, uh, I do have to say, and it's an unfair, it's unfair. This has a ton of emission stuff on it that the 6.0 doesn't have. But as far as getting up and going, the 6.0, hands down takes that in this case um, it just has more power even in a tow tune I do tow in a tow tune um, and I'm not knocking the LML and hear me wait till we get to really talking about the LML here guys before you hit the dislike button on this video or start sending me hate mail down in the comment section because I have a lot of good things to say about it as well but strictly comparing it to my modified truck which is unfair but comparing it to that, the 6.0 uh, in its modified form has more power that it's definitely easier to get up to speed than it is in this truck. We are towing about 13,000 pounds, give or take. It's gonna take us into fuel economy. And I would say they do similar. I get it roughly nine in my 6.0. However, I've seen as much, I've seen knocking on 10's door. So in that category, the LML takes it uh, definitely if you really baby it, you can probably squeeze about 10 and a half out of it. Again, all emissions are intact on this. So that's choking up the system as you're trying to get the most out of it, but uh, works fine. This did not go into any regens. Um, I got just over nine miles going down, nine miles per gallon going down. I've been getting about nine and a half uh, to 10 on my trip home so far. Now moving on, and this is an area, uh, my mom over here, that her favorite feature of this truck is it's super quiet. Uh, just regardless of how hard I'm pulling on it, anything or pushing it, the truck is super, super quiet. It's a super comfortable ride and uh, it is, it's really nice to tow. This is about a 10 hour drive down and we're doing about 10 and a half hours home. So it's a lot of seat time. And uh, one thing that sometimes can be frustrating with my six liter, especially with my bigger tires, is it wants to run certain gears out to hold speed and makes it super loud. It kind of can be a pain in the butt sometimes because you listen to it for 10 hours, you don't really want to anymore. So in this truck, super nice. It's been, it really has been great to tow with and I've really enjoyed that. It's a very peaceful ride. So moving on to some of the, some of the things that features it has, I guess we'll call it, that I've really enjoyed. First and foremost is this has a 38 gallon fuel tank and it has been awesome. We were able to make about a 600 mile trip with one stop. Uh, again, towing this camper, it's been awesome. It's been super nice to not ever worry about fuel. I highly recommend it. I will say this, uh, I'm going to be upgrading a fuel tank because it's been so, it's been so nice having this extra. Um, so there are upgrade options. There's upgrade options for this out there too, but I will say 38 gallons is a really nice standard feature from factory. Well done, GM. Something that's newer on these trucks is the exhaust brake feature. There's a toggle switch down here. It is separate from the trailer, from the tow haul mode that this truck has. And the braking as a whole between exhaust brake in the trip and the tow haul mode, um, obviously this has uh, bigger brakes than what came on my six liter, especially that my six liter is an 04. So it has some of the earlier stuff and not the upgraded brakes that the 05 and newer trucks have. But this thing stops 13,000 pounds like nothing. It is, it's insane how much nicer it works. Yes, the six liter does have the ability to kind of have like an added um, mode to it a little bit, but it, I haven't tried, 
tried it to be honest, but it, I'm assuming it does not function nearly as well as this does. And uh, at some point we'll try it, don't get me wrong. But for this truck, um, again, and this is this is not just a GM thing. I only obviously have experience with GM now in this area, but Ford, Dodge, both have it. Uh, the newer trucks across the board are just vastly superior uh, than, than the older stuff. That's just all there is to it. But it's been super nice stopping and getting up and going. Other than, again, I, I do feel I'm definitely missing a little bit of power. But again, completely stock truck, highly modified 6 liter. It's not really an apples to apples comparison. Um, but something to consider for you guys looking at that. That being said, going into talking about that, I can already feel the hate from people saying it's got plenty of power, and it does. It really does. The truck actually never feels like it's working hard. It doesn't get up and go the same way the 6 liter does, but this truck has the entire time, no matter what we've done. It's a relatively flat tow. It's not a, got a, doesn't have a ton of hills, but it has had zero issues uh, getting to speed. It just does it a little slower than I'm used to, but again, the truck never feels like it's working hard at all. So, again, I'm not knocking it just compared to what I'm used to. It's a little bit different, but again, the truck does it with ease no matter what. It's not working hard to get this load up and moving to speed. Going back to the uh, braking features with cruise control, when you set your cruise control at whatever, 65, 70, whatever you're setting it at, whether you're going uphill or downhill, this truck has kept this load moving at the speed I set it at no matter what. I have don't have to touch the brakes going down hills at all. It's, it's just another one of those things. If you're doing a long tow, it's nice to not have to be as on top of those things. Obviously, you need to be aware of them. I'm not advocating to be lazy and slack off while you're doing this because towing can be a little dangerous if you're not careful. But it does make the whole experience so much nicer to not have to be constantly do, having user input on these things uh, like you do with some of the older trucks. So again, very well done. It's been great. Other things with the newer trucks, they all have integrated brake controllers. I don't know if it's standard or not, uh, but they do have a super clean appearance. It just fits the dash well. It's not in the way at all. Again, just clean Ford and Dodge both have the same thing. Uh, super nice for those of us with older trucks running you know, aftermarket brake controllers. Not that I don't like mine, but it would be nice to have it integrated into the dash and just have that clean look to it that I currently don't necessarily have. So anyway, guys, I have honestly completely enjoyed uh, my towing experience with the LML Duramax. It is a great platform. I know a lot of guys that run it. I'm always gonna be a diehard Ford guy until they prove me otherwise. And I, I, I enjoy my six liter. It's an older truck, but Anyway, I am still a diehard Ford guy. I love the new, I love the new Fords too. And truth be told, in a later video, we will talk about plans for the tow vehicle, well, my tow vehicle, in the future. However, those of you guys that found this video either looking on the fence with buying a 6.6 .6 Duramax, that is specifically the LML, uh, it's a great truck. My buddy that owns this truck, we have. 93,000 miles on this and it runs great again full emissions he's had no problems with it um, do some research because I don't know a ton about these trucks I know they don't have a lift pump from factory they rely completely on the CP4 pump I do recommend anyone buying one of the trucks with CP4s I believe Ford and Chevy both I don't know about the Cummins engine in the Dodges if they run it but look into them and some of the potential issues with those and solutions for them Again, Ford runs the same CP4 pump in their in the 6.7 power stroke, so keep that in mind. But it is a, it's been a great truck to my friend, and it's been a great truck here for me on this trip. It's worked flawlessly. Anyway, guys, that is all I have. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Drop those comments down below. Stay tuned. We're going to have some bloopers at the end here because we have a peanut gallery today that's been mocking me this whole video. <laughs> you call me the peanut gallery. I can be disrespectful. Why is that disrespectful? Because I'm your mother. I gave you life. You guys see what I'm dealing with?
156 degrees, we're going 68 miles an hour. Why are we going 68 and 70? We're going 70 so miles an hour. Where's your six?